and welcome to my brand new channel! Here I am. This is not my house or anything. This is my aunt's apartment in New York because that's where I'm staying for the summer. I found it on an internship in publishing. Not that you guys really know about that because I just started this channel and I said finally as if you guys were in on the story, but it's really not. But anyway, I'll talk about that in a later video. But for now, I'm in Brooklyn and I'm starting a booktube channel, something I've been meaning to do for a couple months now and I'm finally getting around to doing it. The camera battery is about to die, so I might be speaking to a dead camera right now. That's a lovely thought. Dead cameras. Would somebody make a horror movie about that? I feel like that could be a thing. I don't know how it worked. I don't know if it would be very successful, but you know. Alright you guys, so I'm going to do the booktube newbie tag because I'm thinking what better way to start a channel as a newbie to booktube than to do the booktube newbie tag. Somebody was clearly using their brains when they created this tag. They were like, hey, I know some people who can do this tag. New booktubers because they seem to be popping up left and right these days, huh? It's all good. Question number one is, why did you start this channel? I started this channel for, I think, four main reasons. Quattro. Fear, which is German for fear, fear. One is I wanted to do something that would defy my introverted and shy tendencies. Because in person, I'm a really shy person. And that can sometimes inhibit me from doing some things that I want to do. But I figure, what better way to get over that than to put myself on the internet, right? That's the logic there. The second reason is I watch a lot of booktube already, so I figure why not contribute, you know? Might as well put in my money's worth. No, I'm not paying for YouTube. Wait a second. What's going on in my thoughts? You ever have those moments where you're just kind of like trying to think and like all your thoughts just like run away? Like they don't want to be associated with you or something, so they just kind of leave and let you look like a troll on your own? You know, they don't support you like true thoughts should. Reason number three is I wanted to engage more thoroughly in a community of book lovers. There are people on booktube who talk about books, in case you didn't know. I figure, I've got opinions, I want to share them, you know? And you're here watching, so, you know, you must care in some some way. Maybe just a little bit, not even a little bit. Oh, I'm sad. Number four is I wanted to try something new, and I wanted to try it now. I didn't want to wait for this whole idea that I wanted to start booktube to just fade away. I tend to let things kind of just fall to the wayside and I never get around to doing them. And I wanted to do this now. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to hesitate. I didn't want to second guess myself. I just wanted to do it. So I'm doing it. I'm jumping into the water all the way or whatever that phrase is. I feel like there's a common phrase like you're jumping in all the way. Question number two is what are some fun or unique things you can bring to your channel? So I plan to not just talk about books. I plan to talk about random thoughts that I have, random other things that might be going on in my life, and just, yeah, that's what I plan to do. So not just books, but also random other things. Yeah, stay tuned for those. Question number three is what are you most excited about for this new channel? I'm excited to just kind of get out there and do it, you know? I've been sitting around on wanting to do this for a couple of months now, and I'm finally doing it, and I'm really excited about that, so yeah. Question number four is why do you love reading? I love reading because it helps take me to a whole new world. A whole new world! <laughs> anyway, I think there's a quote out there that says you get to live like a thousand lives while reading or something like that. I probably just butchered that. But the point is, you get to see different people's problems and it makes you feel better about what's going on in your life. How often do I have to, like, take down the government? Never really, you know, but I get to watch other people do that and that's okay. It makes my problem seem a lot less serious by comparison. And also you get to kind of just live vicariously through other characters. Maybe you want to go through some specific thing, but instead of you actually doing it, you kind of get to watch somebody else do it. Sometimes that's really cool. Um, it kind of gives you a taste of it to see if you actually do want to do it or maybe it shows you maybe I don't want to do that, you know? I probably should be more specific. Maybe there's a book where somebody goes jet skiing, you know, and like I want to go jet skiing, but maybe I want to let somebody else test drive that idea for a little bit. Maybe if that all goes well, I'll do it. Question number five is what book or series got you into reading? So this answer is kind of twofold, and I don't have any of these books with me because again, like I said, I'm not at home, I'm in New York. First book is Goofy on the Hillside, which I'll put right here. Goofy on the Hillside, which is a Disney book, and if you obviously you know who Goofy is, 
that guy. That's good. That's good. He is was my childhood hero growing up. One of many, but he was the first. It's just a beautiful little story about him going around town, collecting and dropping eggs, and you know, going to the baker. And yeah, he's just clumsy clumsy dog but you know he's so lovable because he means well and I remember my parents reading that to me when I was a kid a lot of times I still have the book with me at home it has a lot of sentimental value to me and I don't have a whole lot of books from my childhood like when I was that young but that's the one book that I definitely had to keep the other book that got me into reading was Twilight Twilight was just like this phenomenon that happened it opened up the YA genre it got so many people into reading and writing, like myself, and it just brought so many people together. Question number six is, what question would you ask your favorite booktubers? So, I would probably just, I don't really know how much time they dedicate to doing this every week, because it seems like it would be a lot. Not even just the filming of the video, but editing it. And like, I could do the editing, I guess, but it's just like, a lot of time. Question number seven is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Again, this kind of goes back to my answer to question six, it's just time management. I feel like there's a lot going on. Even this summer, I'm working a full-time internship. I'm trying to read and write at the same time, you know, and then doing this on top of that, like, I must be crazy. I mean, who needs sleep, right? Sleep is just, sleep doesn't matter. I guess just figuring out when the best times to film are, when the best times to edit are, and being able to be economical about my time. Question number eight is, when did you start reading? So I've been a reader my entire life. It started out, of course, with my parents reading to me before bed, and it just evolved into me reading for myself. Um, so I've been a reader my entire life, but I didn't start reading a lot until about a year ago um, when I discovered BookTube. And you know, BookTube is like a drug, to be honest with you, because like people tell you about books that sound really amazing, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to buy all the books. Like I don't even know how many books I've bought since last year because people on BookTube recommended it. So yeah, I hope that I can help contribute to your declining funds. That'll be the goal of this channel. <laughs> Question number nine is where do you read? I kind of just read wherever I am. Um, I think most of the time when I do read it's like maybe laying on my bed at home or laying on a couch or sitting in a chair or something. This summer with my internship I am reading on the train. I read pretty much anywhere. I usually take a book with me wherever I go unless I am just not able to for some reason or if I absolutely know I won't be able to read. Even though sometimes I bring a book with me even if I know I'm not going to read just because I like to have it there with me. Not even to read but just to know that it's there, you know? And question number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? So I read predominantly young adult fiction but I've also recently been wanting to start reading a lot of classic literature. A few weeks ago I just went and bought a stack of books about that big. So I'm really excited to get into them. And that wraps up the video. Thank you guys for watching my rendition of the booktube newbie tag. Leave a comment down below telling me what you think. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And I'll see you next time.